We all know that Apollo and Artemis has been something of a game changer for streaming games from your PC to any of your devices. Well, at least I know that for myself, I've been playing through entire games at this point just streaming to my AYN Odin 2 portal. Expedition 33, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Doom the Dark Ages, and so on. I've done that video already, it is in the description, but today the developer of Apollo and Artemis has gone even further with a new project that makes them even better. And it also works with Moonlight, so if you're using that with Apollo. Apollo Profile Manager is the ability to automatically save and restore a selection of files for each game or app, and it is separated by each streaming client. So, this is going to be extremely powerful for those of you that are streaming to a TV occasionally. So let's say you have a 4K profile, and then you have a 1080p profile when you go on the go with a handheld device, and so your graphic settings can automatically adjust to accommodate your resolution. Because sometimes you want epic settings at 1080p, but your graphics card can't handle that, so you need medium settings at 4K to get the same sort of frame rates, and so on. Currently, it can be very annoying to do all of that swapping in-game every time you load it up on a new device. Imagine going from your handheld to a 4K TV and having to keep swapping all of those settings every time. So, that's where Apollo Profile Manager comes in. It lets you use it to swap game settings, mod sets, or even save files based on the client, so you don't need to edit your resolution, your key maps, your mod sets, or really anything else every time you change clients. So let me use a real world example because I'm imagining some of you might be confused at this point. I'm going to talk about Expedition 33 because I love talking about Expedition 33. But let's say that you play that game on your PC without streaming and you have a nice 4K monitor. And so you adjust your settings to match that 4K monitor. And because it's 4K, you can't do epic settings, you have it on medium or whatever. And so you lower the settings a little bit. But when you're not at your desk, you're streaming that to your 1080p AYN Odin 2 portal. And so you up the settings a bit because at 1080p you can now do epic settings. And you have more to work with. And every time you play on your PC or your handheld, you have to keep swapping back and forth. This solves that. It'll automatically remember what you had set when you were streaming, and it'll load that up for you when you load up the game. Streaming, man, it just keeps getting better. Let's talk about how to install this. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey, and today we're going to be installing Apollo Profile Manager. So, some prerequisites as to what you need to have this to work. First, you need Apollo already set up and working, of course, and it needs to be at least version 0.3.5 Alpha 4 as of this video. So, if you're here in the future and it's 0.3.6 or anything past 0.3.5, you're fine. For today, you need the Alpha 4 or newer. Now, if you've never updated Apollo before, you should, and it's easy. You can just grab the latest EXE of whatever release off of the GitHub, install it, and it'll do all of the updating for you so you don't lose anything. Next, we need to get Apollo Profile Manager, and you can find it in that same release, or the description has a link to it directly. Grab whatever the latest release of Apollo Profile Manager is. As of right now, it is 0.2.0, but in the future, it'll probably get updated. Right click, extract all to extract the zip. Head inside and run manager.exe. It's going to ask you, where is your config file? And so for me, it is in my C drive, program files, Apollo, and the config folder. And it should be here for everybody. I'm pretty sure this is the default location. And you just need to select the sunshine.conf file. Click yes to allow it to inject commands. It also needs admin privileges, so click yes again. Now, at this point, we get a new window. And it says it's successful and we need to restart Apollo. Right click the tray icon and click restart to restart Apollo. At this point, you can see that I have three options, but you likely only have two. 
I added Play Night as an application in Apollo, so you probably don't have that one. But let's work this one out. Head back into Apollo and the Applications tab. So I'm going to add a game here. Now Expedition 33 is the game that the developer used as an example, and it's also a game that I play, and I'm in New Game Plus, so I want this to work. So we're going to add Expedition 33 as an application. I need the Steam app ID, which you can get from steamdb.info. Then paste steam colon forward slash forward slash run game ID forward slash and the app ID. For me, if you're following along and you're doing Expedition 33, you can just copy the entire thing as I have it on screen. But you want to put this in the detached command. Otherwise, if it is a non-Steam game that you want to do this for, you can just add the path to the EXE in detached commands, making sure it's in quotes. Scroll down and make sure to select Always Use Virtual Display and Save. You should now see that game in your app list in Apollo Profile Manager, but just reopen it if it isn't. Go ahead and click Edit Tracked Files and select Yes to creating a profile. At this point, we need to know what file the game changes when you save settings. The PC Gaming Wiki is a great resource for this, and so for me, the Steam version, it's the location that they have there. So in this example, I just need to head to that location and select the Game User Settings file to be tracked, because that's what the game updates when you change game settings. Now you just need to stream the game once and set whatever settings that you want and you'll see that it shows last run and last save timers in the window. You don't need this window open really ever. I'm just doing it so I can show you. But now it'll start tracking what you saved when you stream. So it'll load its own copy of the settings you saved when you start streaming and replace it. I can't really think of any other examples besides streaming to a 4K TV or multiple different devices with different resolutions, but I'm sure that you can. The developer points out that this will be good for client-specific saves or even mods per client, and I would be very curious in the comments if you can let me know how either of those will help you. Do you load up different saves depending on your streaming device? That is a weird one, but I'm curious if you have that use case. In either event, this is absolutely awesome, and it is one example that I personally thought of that should change things for a lot of people. Honestly, Apollo just keeps getting better and better with things like this, and it is absolute insanity, and it is super, super cool. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow. Come join me on the Discord to talk all about streaming. Support me on Patreon if you like my stuff, and hope you all have a good one.